and the use of advanced, long-range, costly missile systems has come to become one of the defining features of the second month of Russia's invasion in Ukraine. Just take a look at the weapons they're being used, as you saw in that report. The first most visible one is the caliber. That's a cruise missile. It's a long-range cruise missile that was launched from the Buyan M missile boats, uh, part of the Black Sea Fleet. These can be fired from ships, from submarine, as well as from air. A lesser variant of this is also uh, you know, in the Indian Armed Forces, these can att attain extremely high speeds, sometimes supersonic speeds as well. And like I said, they have very, very long, credible ranges. So the Caliber cruise missile has ranges of up to 4,500 kilometers in the more advanced variants. The next big missile system that Russia has brought to bear in this second phase of the conflict, uh, you know, is the Iskander missile system. It contains a hybrid of both ballistic as well as uh, cruise missile systems. These are radar evading uh, weapons that have been designed, you know, for stealthy attacks. These are short-range ballistic missiles and cruise missiles, which are part of this. And videos put out by the Russian armed forces suggest that the Iskander has been used quite a bit in the conflict so far. And you're going to see much more of the Iskander being used in the second phase of this battle. Then we move on to the third big uh, weapon system that is being used uh, here which is the Yakont, called the Onyx in Russian service. It's very similar to the Brahmos, which we here in India know so well about. It's a supersonic cruise missile, short range, once again, about 300 to 400 kilometers, has been used to hit specific, uh, you know, uh, high-value targets, including weapons depots uh, in Russia. This is a missile system that makes it, uh, you know, one of the fastest missiles in the world in its class, very similar to the Brahmos, uh, you know, that derives from the technology there. Uh, and finally is the Kinjal, which is an air-launched hybrid missile. It's usually a nuclear-capable delivery system, but obviously has been used only with a conventional warhead, uh, thankfully, in, uh, in Ukraine so far. And notably, the Kinjal is a weapon that's been used for the first time in anger, for the first time in combat during the Ukraine crisis. So four missile systems making it very clear that Russia has had enough of using, you know, baseline military equipment like tanks and is now resorting to using much more expensive, expensive equipment to cause damage in Ukraine. So that's where things are on day 33.